why our <laughs> GF tastes like the same. Uh, on all levels, including physical, I am Crash. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? Huh? Oh, what? That was a weird sentence to come back to. Um, Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. Um, actually, I actually have a sound board since, since you're going to tap out first, Kirsty, any downtime stuff will probably go to you first. That way you have some, some spare time. And all uh, that good stuff. I haven't thought of that yet. Um... <laughs> I mean, we're not, we're not jumping straight into downtime. We're, we guys are probably going to debrief with Lois and stuff like that, right? So, okay. you have some time. I'm just going to say, once we get to that section, we're going to go to you first, so you have ample time. Okay. If you have anything to do on downtime. I already connected with Fred. Uh huh. Um, and he he's playing a very good character for the current chapter because he he's like I'm just gonna help the sick because that's what I did in growing up. <laughs> that's just <laughs> what I do. do. Yeah, that's like what Carrie Dog does, and I'm just like you know that that makes sense, right? That makes sense. I I will say, and I'll have to connect with Fred over the week. I do. There is another wave of missions that you guys could enlist onto. Mm -hmm. Slash, yeah, I say one enlist, one enlist onto. Be enlisted to if you guys want to meet Captain Herman. <laughs> <laughs> Lois isn't gonna help you until you help her. So, actually, we have we have some time right now. Uh, I'm gonna drag you to Whispers Curse. I'll give you I'll give you a quick synopsis of the missions, and then you tell me what you okay. pick, and then I'll get the books from everyone else later. Okay, let's go to Whispers. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, Welcome back. fuck! I wanted to talk to him. <laughs> I got big because he loved motherfucker. <laughs> uh. Hey, crush up! Oh. Literally, I was like, oh, I'm back. And he was like, okay, let's go. And then he left. Yes. He didn't want to talk to you. Well, that's too damn mad. Because I got to talk to him about some. Oh my god, I left and came back and the internet only got worse. Why would you do that? Because I wanted to hear you talk. <laughs> Okay, sure you did, bud. <laughs> All right, I guess you're just insinuating that I hate you. Sure. You do. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is gaslighting, but like against you. No, you're just an asshole. Wow. I'll actually, say that. That's just actually mean. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Trees. <laughs> Trees. <laughs> They're in the trees. They're in the trees. Are speaking Vietnamese. Oh, you saw that too, girl. He's in the <laughs> walls. <laughs> My friend Shelby bought a tree today. Oh, yeah. a tree. Yeah. Kind of she been planning that, or was that like a spur of the moment kind of purchase? Yeah. No. Yeah. She bought a fucking tree on a whim, Garth. Fucking um, no. Yeah. I, uh, I actually, that's not out of the realm of possibility. By the way, I mean, we went to the store for like something, and she grabbed like five pepper plants to grow in the backyard. <laughs> oh, I stand corrected. Her. I'm sorry, Garth. Look at the little guy. You're forgiven. There's a little guy. It's, it's a little guy. Little it's a guy. Little, little tree guy. Trevel. I subtly forced her to name it by asking <laughs> what its name was. What is its name? What Gaia. is its name? <laughs> and I was like, that's so predictable. <laughs> <laughs> that's Mother Nature's name, I think, right? Hold on. I can look it up. I heard it before, it's but I don't remember it. For Earth. You know, it's a Greek myth. Yeah, uh, personification of Earth. Yeah, she's the mother of Uranus, <laughs> uh, ah. from whose sexual union she bore the Titans, Con the Cyclopes, she fucked the planet, and the Giants, as well as uh, uh, Pontus, which is the sea. Pontus Pilus. Pontus Pil Pilates. Pilates. No. Uh, 
How long did Crash say we'd have for like downtime? A day and a half? A day and a half, yeah. I have a couple things I want to do. I just don't know if I have the resources to do them. I know exactly what I want to do. What you going to do? Bug the guards to teach me how to use a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> sir, we're not teaching you that. I don't even know if I could call you uh, sir properly. Uh, well, how about we, how about we teach you how to use a catapult instead? And they catapult you into the, uh, <laughs> the plate. <laughs> 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 You're just here, Yo! I didn't know badges could fly. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I won't let them do that. Because you want to? <laughs> <laughs> no, he wants a cavalry charge you into it. Hi, how are you? Welcome back. Hi. Oh, good. Thanks for asking. Hi. Yep. Uh, we all here? Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Uh, he'll be around next week, but then Alec won't be. So. <laughs> you know, uh, just a, How is Alec not going to gonna be here, but you are? What is happening next week? Are you guys going to be okay? <laughs> the surgery. <laughs> Stretching. <laughs> Stretching. No. That's no. better than Gabe. Horrible. Anyway. So, um, so, uh, we're all back. Let's get back into it. Yep, yep. Hey, this is, Hunter's Dream is always super quiet, so definitely feel free to crank that shit. It up. Does a whip. In day, day, day. the coming hour, over the course of the next hour, the gates do get opened back up, and then the guards begin doing checks. Uh, technically, the duty, some of you might know, is called throat slitting. It's for, like, after major battles between yeah. nations. Not sure how applicable uh, that is to zombies, but they're do they're doing double taps. They're doing double checks to make sure all the zombies are. I do want to push. I forget which battle it was, but there was a battle where. Oh, um, after we killed uh, Andre, that's exactly what uh, what Hawk did. Yes, so that yeah. Hawk is very familiar with it. Yeah. <laughs> so the guardsmen here are no different. Uh, they're they're making the double check and that everything is dead, and just basically checking the nearby not not just the perimeter but beyond that. Not just a wall, but beyond to the na uh, adjacent neighborhoods and stuff like that. Make sure nothing else is lurking. And I imagine, because you guys are talking about like a smart zombie, that they'll be looking around for that. I will roll their survival to see if they find any tracks or remains or remnants or what have you. Um, I think the medics would be the ones to do it because they actually have survival trained. So, and they're being helped, so they have advantage. They did find signs of a lone, well, I guess two lone shamblers. One on the uh, southwestern side of the academy, one on the eastern side. So a bit, well, not directly eastern, maybe just a little bit southeastern, but a little bit below where your guys' battlefield was. And then there's tr signs of another one. The signs they picked up were, as I said, of a shambler. So it had the telltale plague uh, residues and spores and stuff like that. But just the way it walked was not the twitching, shambling nature of the shambler that you guys have seen so far. Or even the dispersers. But something a bit more sophisticated. A bit more fluid. The way they described them almost reminds you of Irina. Oh. Uh-oh. She's got a cousin. No bueno. An evil twin. But, you know, they uh, they remarked that the fluid, like, it is more fluid than a shambler, which is not saying much. They don't say it's, like, perfectly the same as human movement. Uh -huh. It's just way better than shit. Versus, <clears throat> when you guys think of Irina, she does move pretty much exactly like you guys, as if she was alive. So, maybe she's an advanced form of the smart zombies. Who knows? Regardless, neither her nor Mina nor their team are back at base yet. Uh, you guys have no way of ascertaining when they'll be back. If it's or longer if than three, if it's longer than three days, then that's when I guess you guys should start getting concerned because it's not they're not traveling that far, right? They're about, traveling about the same distance as you guys, and it, it did not take you guys three days to get back. So, hmm. it's like a day and a half. 
As you guys enter back into the Steric Spire Academy, colloquially referred to as the Spire, uh, Captain Lois does come and check in with you guys. In case you guys forgot what <laughs> Captain Lois looks like, I guess. Here's, here's her token. That's your <laughs> kid. Wait, what? Wait, what? That's what she looks like? What? Oh, I'm parking out right now. Anyways. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm going to tell my uh, my kids one day that this was Alessander. <laughs> <laughs> this was Alessander Whitelock. You see the white lock? <laughs> Anyways. So, she, you guys are brought in, not into the heart of the academy and its medical area. Caradoc, that's where Caradoc goes, because he wants to immediately begin helping out the Eulonian he is. But you guys are out a bit out in the wings, in the garden areas, a bit away from all the hustle and bustle and noise. And it sort of is like low-key a bit of a quarantine <laughs> distance. She comes out to meet you guys. Well, I live and believe. You lot. Same you all back with some others. She says eyeing Arnie and Del, who Arnie just begins waving happy like, Hi. <laughs> Del. Has his arms crossed and is leaning against a pillar. Actually, guys in the garden, so he's leaning against the tree. Might I ask what happened? Let's do a quick debrief while everything's settling down. Do you just want to go, <laughs> or do you want to describe yeah. things? Do you guys want to go, mm -hmm. Yes, your call? Mm -hmm. I would ask if you redact any information. Yeah, are we leaving need. anything out? Uh, we I, I didn't get you. caught in the explosion. We were cool and walked away and didn't mm -hmm. get trapped in the rubble. I heard it well before it went off, and I yelled at these fucks to get out of the yeah. range, and we did. <laughs> we were cool. We had okay. some glasses on. We had some glasses on, but we don't know where they came from. But, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we took them off. Um, I think in the fatigue of uh, post battle coming down from his high uh, mm -hmm. and remembering that he is sick. I think Hawk, uh, still, still probably in his saddle if he's allowed to be. Um, yeah. Just kind of slumps uh, against the, the, the neck of his horse and says, I got sick. <laughs> <laughs> so I could see, and I could see you picked up a long face with it. And I'm not talking about yours. She looks at the horse. Where did you come across such a magnificent beast? Especially these days. Had it with me the whole time. She quirks an eyebrow at that, like, young man. <laughs> Stop bullshitting really? Do you think I'm a fool? <laughs> think I was born yesterday? So where did it actually come from? I found it. Her. Whereabouts did you find it? Plague District. She quirks an eyebrow. The other eyebrow now, I guess she just looks so startled at this point. <laughs> The play district. This. She squints her eyes. Is this a normal horse? You guys all have to do like a gym from the office straight face at the. <laughs> at that mark. It's how he literally summoned it from the air. No comment. <laughs> Basically, right? It, it It's a normal horse. <laughs> no deception. You, you, no, she you can ride it. You can ride it. It eats. It probably craps. It, it's a normal horse. <laughs> you, guys not, you guys have not seen a crap once yet, so. <laughs> How many times have we seen it eat? <laughs> many. Damn. Normal horse. Well, there you go. But I. It's just constipated. It's the best damn horse there is. As long as it's not going to cause any trouble or bring any trouble with whatever its true nature is. She don't cause trouble. She solves it. Oh, you did that then. Speaking of solving trouble, did you solve ours? Yes, and then he'll slap the <laughs> hand down on our table. <laughs> I didn't ask for a hand. I, I asked mean, for black powder. I mean, that's the guy that had the black powder. To clarify and make it sound like we aren't completely incompetent, he gestures to Dell. Um, we have uh, allies that might be able to help with acquiring a vast amount of it. And we took care of the guy who stood in the way of it. Really? <laughs> Don't know, it's agreeing with you guys. I got a condition. We got conditions! <laughs> 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 we, got, we, got, we got a list of conditions. 
We got a list of conditions. Yep. Oh, God. It's a short it's list. list. <laughs> Alright, you want to go first? Or oh, we should do it like simultaneously? Just fucking say it. You say it. He just looks at Arnie. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, no, one. Don't say it at once. <laughs> it's going to be a concoction of noise. They both say it at once. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the same, noise. You don't say the same words or the same length, so definitely one with fishes first. Uh, Arnie would remark, "You need to let him go," and he gestures at Dell. Dell oh. would say, "I have a list of people I need that need your protection," oh. and he does gesture at Arnie as he says that. You guys know this, like that was part oh, of the I deal. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, so cute though. Yeah, it's very cute, yeah. They've got a we love a bromance here, man. Blinks, she blinks a couple of times. I think I caught both of those, and she like fiddles with her ear with like one of her <laughs> gloved fingers to make sure there's nothing jamming it. So, you both want protection for each other. Very sweet. Thick as thieves, the two of you. Arnie like throws his arm around Della's shoulder, he's like, yeah we are. Dell is like begrudgingly allowing it. But it sounds like you have a list of others. <laughs> she looks at Dell, he nods. If you can provide promise, clemency for me, him, and the others, I'd be willing to work with you and tell you where that black powder is. And I can help make it. Not the best at making it, but, uh, you know, better than nothing. Better than nothing you guys got. It's at least a constant flow, rather than a one-time boost. Mm -hmm. I can't argue that would be handy. Do you know enough to teach others? Uh, probably. Don't know, I never taught anyone. That's good enough. Other minds can pick up the slack yours are leaving. Thanks! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you must have said that. <laughs> And, but she does. She's courteous and looks away when she smirks. <laughs> <laughs> How much powder was, did you guys get? I know you don't have it on hand. Sounds like it's somewhere else. She says, looking at Dell, who nods. <laughs> How much? Looks like Dell. He begins looking around. You see that? I think I was a classroom. A big. Amphitheater, there. He puts it on the corners of the academy. Hey, right. enough to fill that. Enough to fill that. He nods. You do not know where they're pointing, like, right? <laughs> you know where they're pointing. I do. That classroom can fill a hundred of people. I'm not saying they'll fill it to the brim. They're in barrels and stuff like that, but. Enough to fill a storeroom that size. That's a ridiculous amount of black powder. Fuck me. <laughs> Andreev has. Oh, Andreev was always saying he wanted. He was gonna go out with a big bang. We never knew what he meant by that. But all we knew is that he kept stockpiling that powder. He shrugs. We'll never know now. Andreev is the boss was. of the Black Hats. Was. was. I'll be honest. Boss. He was the, the boss of the Black Hats. That, <laughs> that explains the trigger. Hmm. No, You're still holding it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, 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 there's a mortis. Yeah, yeah, I didn't remove it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, until you pulled it out, so I assumed it's still there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those bombs already went off. I take it that's the explosion we heard earlier. Hmm? Likely was. That explosion is problematic. I won't mince words on it. And I think you guys could see the symptoms of those problems on your way in. Kicked up a... Well, it's like stomping on a wasp nest. Swarms buzzing. Mm. Rest assured, it yeah. wasn't intentional on our part, at least. We, uh, we had Arnie here to disable the bombs, but there was a the second trigger. <laughs> of course, it was. Whoopsie. Sorry, <laughs> ma'am. 
<sighs> There's no point being sorry, boy. The explosion's done, the zombies are shambling all around. People are stuck in here now or taking shelter wherever they can. What's what is done? He, she looks directly into his eyes. Be sorry in your own time. In the meantime, you'll be helping me. That I can do. Ma'am. It does not take an inside role to tell that he has probably said ma'am a handful of times in his entire life and half of them were just now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's learning respect. He is He's learning respect. respect. Oh, sure. When, when he does it, it's respect. When I do it, I'm just afraid of women. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't act right. Well, I'm afraid of women. You can't <laughs> when you say it. <laughs> yeah. You're yes. You're Look at him, he's standing lad. up straight. <laughs> You're afraid of women, lad. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what answer you want, ma'am. He, <laughs> he smiles as wicked as, an, as a dark sider, which no one knows what that looks like, but just know it's bad. Yeah. Uh, Hawk tilts his head to try and hide his eyes with the brim of his hat, and as he does, uh, his horse sort of like sidesteps away, like <laughs> like she's also shying away from her. It was like. <laughs> 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 so that uh, cleric you guys are talking about in your report do you guys think he'll come through a lot of I both mean, knows we can up. use any healing he showed up to a meeting with the anarchists mm -hmm. so that means he's full enough to do it so I think he'll be a fool enough to come here. And he seems to have competent enough rangers to hold off the anarchist and the zombies that approach their fortifications. So I think they can he make nods. it. Hmm. You nod sagely at that. Well, I suppose we should probably ready something for him when he gets here. Unfortunately, we're a bit low on supplies. Black powder aside. Hmm. We're just simply running out of food and we don't exactly have access to the waterway. Right. She browns the bloody there in the way. She serve sort of, like almost like she just tastes something sour. Her face Crunches. cringes again. I can't deny that they don't have their use. I don't think you guys saw the one that came here to help during this assault. Which one? Shake the head. Uh, Roma, you would have seen him. Oh, yeah? Because, because you're the one that split off. Mm -hmm. I'll be for a bit. You didn't mm -hmm. fight alongside him. No. But, but, um, he looks like... I can find it. He looked like this. Yeah, come on. Do the same. Oh, that's intimidating. Was that one of the cultists? Well, zealots? That's one of the zealots. He came, <sighs> per Captain Lois's account, he came here to discuss and parlay, and end up helping the defense when it was needed. She would remark that he climbed a watchtower and jumped over the fence to get to the outside. <laughs> <laughs> he will fight. Yeah. What a freak. <laughs> wow. At her description, you guys can see Del cringing at the account, because he knows what the... He knows what who this guy is. Mm. More importantly, what he looks like when you actually get him in a roaring fight. Yeah, that's probably what he looks. Like. That's oh. what he looks like when he's actually fighting at full capacity. Oh, wow, okay. By rumor alone, at least, which he did not get there here. Mm. So no one ever saw him like this. People only saw him like this. Damn, it wasn't even like, it wasn't even in his final form. Hmm. You're talking about He's lit 20 uh, power. What was his name? Yeah, the weird freak. The other freak. I only think I remember seeing him when I was uh, before I came back here to help you. You know, remember? <sighs> you recall it? Jumped over a fucking wall. <laughs> you did. <laughs> The same way the dispersers technically move slowly 
he, so did he. But you don't think that's because <clears throat> he actually is slow, but moreover, he's just like waiting for something. Mm-hmm. He's conserving energy. Like, sort of. He's taking his time. His name is Cardinal Blade. Cardinal Blade. Cardinal Blade, like, forgive me. Dothamin, I mean, he is a. His name is Blade, and he is a cardinal, or doth that mean he is a blade of the cardinal? She shrugs. <laughs> Denver just, seen... just like tilts her head, like I kind of understand what we're talking about. Do I? <laughs> is he a weapon dubbed the Cardinal Blade, like yeah. a magic item, or is he a cardinal named Blade? Yeah. <laughs> no, I get it. Denver. I, I, I really, I really hope he's just called Blade because that would be so funny. <laughs> I mean, if a vampire hunter can be named Blade, so can this guy. Exactly, exactly. Both seem applicable applicable in this moment. Do you think he picked that himself? (laughs) If it is an assigned title, then Uh, no. Probably not. uh, It might be an assigned title. I don't think it's his actual name. I really hope so. (laughs) 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 Sounds like like a shitty novel you find at the pawn shop. Oh, we better not shit talk too much. You oh. might come apart. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> behind us, so that's not. Oh, she's speaking Victorian. What do you mean? It just comes out sometimes. Ar- Arnie just sort of nudges you, Roma, and he like whispers to you, "If I find a trashy fantasy like like book in a pawn shop, should I grab one for you?" Of course. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> L- looks between the two. It's like. Hold on, what's happening here? Yeah, Denver's watching. <laughs> oh, we're, we're becoming good friends. We're becoming best friends, right? Uh, <laughs> Jim totally turns to like, who's the yeah. most sane here? The one on drugs. He turns to to Hawk. It's like, what what is happening here? <laughs> I'm <up> Arnie. <laughs> Arnie, <laughs> Arnie, the, the pause is there, and you all know why. <laughs> you, you, you all know like, why. We're all best friends, right? Right. We'll start a friend, and we'll see if something else happens. At the mm. very least, right? Ahem. <laughs> the <Trips loose. laughs> If you're all done flirting with each other, thank you both mm-hmm. for your... She looks at Arnie, though. Treason? <laughs> she does <doesn't> know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't gotta say it like that. I mean, there's like better ways, like liberation or or no, we we we'd be backstabbed. Yeah, we sort of backstabbed him. Yeah, but like you work for anarchists. Do you really care what the title properly ends? Up in? Let me make it perfectly clear, gentlemen. I will not be harboring any such thing here. Oh no, no, of course not. Of course, no, no. Because if you do, I still know some tricks from the sisters that. I have not shown off to anyone here in Valkester in years. What? What does that mean? Let's not find out, eh? Right. Don't worry, man. We're thick, thick as thieves. In a good way. Right. 